What's going on, guys? This is Pastor Tommy Colonin, also known as Urban D. And I've been around hip hop pretty much my whole life. Growing up in Philly, I can remember being a little kid and first hearing that beat, getting into break dancing, and just kind of it's something that captured me and captivated my heart. Now, I grew up in a Christian home. My father was a pastor. So uh, hip hop was kind of frowned upon. And uh, <laughs> so. Let me give you a little bit of history today and kind of the wall behind me has a lot of Christian hip hop history on it. When you hear the word hip hop, many times or, or rap music, you can think of negative things because so much of the music many times just has a lot of negative content in it. Glorifying materialism, glorifying drugs, gang culture, degrading women, just a lot of the negativity and images in there many times is not positive. But if you go all the way back to the beginning of hip hop music in the Bronx in the 70s, uh, a lot of the people that were just getting into this new emerging urban expression were kids and young adults that didn't want to be in gangs. They were looking for an artistic outlet. As time went on, hip hop quickly became commercialized and you know anything that becomes big and influential, many times the enemy loves to get in and pollute it. And so hip hop became more and more negative more and more profanity and so when it began to really hit the mainstream that's really pretty much all it was known for and it was very edgy almost rebellious type of music well even as all that was happening there's always been another narrative really since the early days that was also happening and that was that this art form was going to be used to glorify god and some people kind of shake their head like can that be used for god's glory let me remind you biblically, if you look in Colossians, it says that all things were created by God and for God. And so you know what that means? It means that you know things like music genres can be redeemable for God. They can be used to bring glory to God. And so even hip hop can be one of those things. place in God's kingdom and he's using all kinds of people through this genre um, this subculture called hip-hop or should I say Christian hip-hop uh, and there's people being touched by countless people even the guy that's on the other side of this camera right now that's filming this um, he is a product of coming to Crossover Church and coming to a hip-hop concert and finding a relationship with Jesus and there's so so many other people that are out there all over the world that have been touched by this music genre maybe it's not what you grew up on maybe it's not what you fully understand but know that it's something that God is redeeming and God is using and so tonight we're going to take this segment we're going to show you some different forms of urban music some hip-hop some some dance some some even some reggae oh, 